Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the channel. First ever video I've done on this channel, this kind of way anyway. What players should every club sell in the January transfer window, literally just around the corner? I've got a plan from every club on this list. So guys, you know what to do, let's get straight on the way. So, Give us a big round thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first club I'm going to kick off with is obviously Arsenal going in alphabetical order. Maitland Niles. Maitland Niles to me is really not playing enough at Arsenal. He has been playing over the past few weeks and I'll give Arsenal that. Do I really see a bright future for Maitland Niles at Arsenal? Not really. I'm hoping I'm wrong because he is quite a good midfielder and I do think maybe, you know, he could actually be an outstanding player. Not really playing enough for us on my calibre though, so that's why I put him up for sale and I think anyone like, I don't know, maybe Leicester, I think you fit quite well in that uh, club there. So, you know, it's a disappointment but I've gone to make the nice for Arsenal. Aston Villa, Kieran Davis. Kieran Davis is a 23 year old at Aston Villa. Most of these players are at their peak of their career, so you know it's about time will they get played enough to actually kind of make it in the game? Or, but yeah, this is another real, really bad shout out, um, really for me because he's 23, ain't really getting into the first team. Whoever the new Villa boss is may change their mind, but unless he starts to play a bit more, I would seriously get rid of him because every club's struggling due due to the pandemic. So, you know, that may be one for the transfer in uh, January. Brentford, Marcus Foster. Yeah, again, 22 years old. He's only played five times for Brentford's first team. Really don't see, you know, a big future. Um, I could be wrong yet again. Uh, Brentford are doing some quite good in the Premier League as well. So, you know, maybe, just maybe, he might have a bit of a future there. But he, ha he is 22, so, you know, maybe one, one or two more years, it might be a bit different. But we're gonna have to wait and see maybe it's time for Brentford to cash in on him. Now my club, Brighton. This was a hard one for me because I know, obviously I know people that got their own favourite players and stuff like that. But it was also a hard one for me because there was a few that I reckon Brighton should sell. I'm only going to tell you this player I put up, but I did have a few in mind, so, you know, who knows, maybe another video that may pop up. But I'll go on with uh, Lacardia. Lacardia is not getting his chance in the Premier League with Brighton. We're at, with Brighton, we're playing Trossard at front, no Lacardia. Um, Neil Mopé, you know, it's, if we ain't going to play him, it's rather cashing on him and try to get some money. But, yeah, I've gone with Lucardi off of Brighton just for the matter of fact. He ain't getting any chance in the Premier League. Played in the EFL Cup twice, I think, but not really a really good um, standout player for Brighton. Maybe it's time to cash in on him. Burnley, I went with Will Norris. Not getting any chance at Burnley. He's only made three appearances. Will Norris is a talented young player. And as I said, most of these players are either at the peak of their career or just about to really reach the peak of their career. Would it be time to cash them, Will Norris? I think maybe so. You know, it's going to be a tough window, I believe, for the Premier League clubs trying to, you know, make a last ditch attempt to save relegation or, you know, wherever they're going in the table. But maybe it's time for Burnley to sell Will Norris. Chelsea, I went with Lewis Baker. Lewis Baker's 26 years old. 
He cannot get into that Chelsea team. Now, I'm not blaming Chelsea for he can't get into the team. I went to the Chelsea Champions League uh, game against Melmo at Stamford Bridge. I talked up on my channel. I'll make it up here at the end of this video as well. Or the playlist I'll make up here at the end of this video. Lewis Baker, 26 years old. He cannot get in to that Chelsea first team. I'm would sell him and try and get some money and see if we can make it elsewhere just for Lewis's sake it, you know it's one of them things I think made Chelsea are really good uh, do ever so well in the Premier League look like they'll go in the Premier League at this present time as well but yeah Lewis Baker I've put up for Chelsea to sell in the next transfer window this time we're going to get 100% wrong but picture will appear off of it Jay Matea, I don't tell I probably missed that, that's on my cross and I'm apologies if I have. He's only played 10 times for Palace. Being a centre forward, which he is, being a 24 year old centre forward, will he get his time in let's, who knows, how long is he, right, so he's 26, so let's say six years. Will Palace give me a proper chance at nearly playing every Premier League game for Palace? It's going to take its toll, but I can't say I think Palace will go up just by more strikers or whatever position they need filling. Will it be time for him to go get his career, you know, trying to kickstart maybe a bit more game time? Who knows, but I've gone with that plan for Palace because only 10 times in Palace and we've, what, Every Premier League club's basically played, I think, nearly 20 or games already. Uh, no, not scrapped that. About 13 or 14 games if you include the cup. Everton, I went with Tom Davis. Tom Davis has only played seven times this season. Two of them appearances were in the EFL Cup. So, you know, he's basically played five times in the Premier League under Rafael Benitez. Tom Davis is a good midfielder, I ain't gonna lie, I've, you know, he's one of these defenders that do rate for, you know, quite a certain amount of time. Will he get back in the Everton lineup? Uh, it's gonna have to be waiting and seeing, but if I was uh, Rafael Benitez, I would consider selling Tom Davis purely for the matter of fact of, you know, it's one of the things you know, you're going to have to cash in on him at some point. The best time is probably now. Leagues. I went with Sam Greenwood. Sam Greenwood has not played for the league's first team yet. He's got five goals in Premier League 2, which is the reserve squad. Now, Sam is only young, and he's only just recently signed for leagues. So I'll give him that. But if you look at leagues where they are on the table... I would give Sam Greenwood maybe a chance, maybe just even a ten minutes at the end, you know, at the end of the game, to see what he can really do. If Sam Greenwood is getting five goals in Premier League two, then surely he must be worth it. Leicester. Now this was a hard choice for me because Leicester. They got so many good players, and I really had to dig deep to think who would they sell and why. And I went with James Madison for this one, and I only went with James Madison because of getting his chance in the England team. Now, if you look at Declan Rice, okay, he's a brilliant, brilliant uh, centre defence midfielder in the England squad week in week out. Uh, not week in, week out, every time England's calling there, 25 or however many it is, Declan Rice is in there. James Madison ain't a bad midfielder either. <laughs> and I, I know I'm going for these names and I'm probably cut, you know, repeating myself over and over again, but he's not a bad midfielder. So, who knows, maybe with James Madison, maybe if he went to a club like I don't know where he would fit in. Maybe somewhere like Arsenal. I think he'd get called up for the English squad just a little bit more than what he has been. But yeah, that's the only part I come up with at Leicester. And to me, that won't be a bad transfer for either. 
I think Leicester will get their money's worth. Liverpool, Lewis Cassettius. Sorry if I mispronounced the name. No, who is anyone make the picture pop up on the screen? Not played for Liverpool since the 17 18 season. Now we're going, we're currently in the 21 slash 22 season. So we may be sound about three years ago since he made his last appearance for Liverpool in any major competition. Obviously, we all remember the day that he made the mistake at Liverpool, I think it was the Champions League final. I know it's a big game, it might be, I know it's in the Champions League as well, if I remember rightly. But yeah, he's not played since the 17-18 season for Liverpool. Money's tight at the minute, money is really tight for Premier League clubs and for everyone around the globe due to the pandemic. It may be time to sell and see if they can come up with some sort of money for him to help, you know, not only his career, but maybe Liverpool to move forward. That's an interesting one. Manchester City, I went with Nathan Atkin. He's only made seven appearances this season. He did sign back in August 2020 though. We are currently in, well, near the end of 2021, so He's just passed a year on his contract. But only played seven times for City this season. And to be honest, Nathan Atkin ain't that bad defender. But I keep looking at Manchester City going forward. Do I really see a future for Nathan Atkin? In my personal view, not really. Okay, he got his big money shot and he took it. Fair play for you know doing that but maybe it might be time for City to try and cash in on him and what I think he signed a six year contract as well so while he done that you are basically going to get a lot of money back for him because that's by his contract as well as the transfer fee. Man United I went with Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard ain't getting his time at United. Manchester United just lost to Manchester Derby so Man United fans Lost to Liverpool not so long ago, 5-0. Jesse Lingard was at was in the England team last England game I went to, which was England and Dora. He's not in the England squad now. You've got the likes of Jayla Sancho's on the bench as well at United. It's ludicrous what I'm saying, but it's true. I don't I Jayla Sancho did come on uh, against City, but yeah, he came off the bench and you know, ain't really getting a starting place. Jesse Lingard, now, I don't want to, because he is a quality player, but if you took him to maybe a lower, uh, not lower league, somewhere, um, I'm just trying to think of a random club. Let's say, for example, Newcastle. Obviously, they got the um, money men, or money now. Eddie Howard in charge. Guarantee you, if he went to Newcastle, he would be in that starting eleven every week. And the same we did when he was at West Ham. In the starting eleven, played absolutely brilliant for West Ham. And we all know what happened to West Ham, and West Ham are doing brilliant this season as well. Newcastle. I went with a goalkeeper called Freddie Woodman. 20, 24 years old, he's a keeper, he's only played five times this season in all competitions. Five times this season in all competitions, it's not really good for a 24 year old keeper, is it? I mean, they got Darlow in goal, I don't think he's even on the bench for the game against Brighton at the MX Stadium, could be wrong, but a 24 year old keeper, if anyone's looking for a keeper, if he was on the list, surely Cuz would look into him. And maybe time for Newcastle to go cash in on him. Norwich. I went with a player called Tom Cartwheel. Cartwheel. Sorry for mispronouncing that name. He's aged 23 and he's only played five times in the Premier League this season. Oh, sorry, he's played five times this season. Two of them were in the Premier League too. So, you know, he's played three times for the first team. Yet again, 
Norwich have just sat their manager with the likes of, you know, winning his first game. That's ludicrous. I remember reading that. I was actually at the Brighton Newcastle game at the time. And I got, actually, the news came through on my phone. He won his game and they sacked him. Brilliant. First time I've ever heard that happening. But yeah, will we cut it? I don't think so. I think the manager that's going to come in is going to look for maybe, who knows, a different way of going forward. It's going to be a really interesting um, situation at Norwich. Southampton, I went with Harry Lewis. Not played for first team in the Premier League. He's 23 years old. Now, as I said, a lot of these players are either at the peak of their career or getting there. 27. Now, no, sorry, 23. If he was at the stage of, you know, maybe getting into the first team or, you know, stuff like that, it's understandable why he want to stay. Will he get into the first team at this current in time? Southampton are on a good run of form at this present in time. Got a really interesting fitch, uh, fixture this coming up. Same as all the Premier League clubs. They've gone into December, the most busiest time for football and the most busiest time in the calendar of the year for everyone because everyone's getting ready for Christmas. So, would it be time for maybe Southampton to cash on Harry Lewis? I do think so. And, you know... Why not? Next one is Spurs. Spurs, I put Dele Alli. He cannot get into that starting eleven. Now, yet again, Dele Alli, okay, you know, new man in charge. He won't get in there with Besantos. I do know your first name, but I just don't want to get it horribly wrong, but you know who I'm on about. He won't get in there with Jason Mourinho. He wasn't, I don't think he'd get in there with Conte either. So it's maybe time for Spurs to start looking elsewhere for him to go play his football. Yet again, I'm just going to mention a random club, maybe somewhere like Newcastle again. As I said, they've got the money men, but he could do it to any other Premier League club as well, really. You know, so let's just go Newcastle again. They signed Deli Alley, I reckon he'd be in that starting 11, week in, week out, without a shadow of a doubt. A really good player for uh, Daddy Alley, and yet the aim plan for Tottenham is not getting any England squad, so that's why I put Daddy Alley up there. Watford, I've gone with Daniel Beachman. Um, sorry if I mispronounced that, but most probably have somewhere across the line. Anyway, you know who I'm on about, I'll make the picture appear, appear up on screen. 27 years old, only made four appearances this season. Now, yet again, 27, he's coming towards the end of his career. Now, whether the likes of, you know, you want to play football, you want to, you know, go out and, and experience, 27, he's time to running out. Maybe it's time for Watford to cash in on him. And don't forget, we've also got a new man in charge, uh, you know, with running airy. But... Will he get his chance? I can't say it. Maybe it's time for Watford to cash in on him. Now this was another hard club, West Ham. Now I went with this player and for me this player is hard to come up with a reason why it should they? But I've gone with Declan Rice. Now I do look at clubs like Liverpool, City, you know, and I, I've already said how well West Ham are doing, and fair play to you, but I've had to come up with a player for every Premier League club. Now, I can't with Declan Rice, purely because, yeah, uh, West Ham are in the Europa League and are maybe getting into the top four at the end of the season, and there's still a long way to go. But could you imagine someone like Declan Rice in the Liverpool team, or the Man City team, or, you know, the Chelsea team, just playing that CDM, but do so much for his career, and you know he's only young still as well. He's getting the England squad. Fair play to Declan Rice kicking in the England squad. I surely will see him play in, you know, some play against Andorra as well. So, but I'll go with Declan Rice. Maybe moving out 
to Manchester City and it might make on a big price tag as well which obviously will help West Ham along the way so Wolves which is the last one I've gone with Wilfred Bonney just don't see him in the wall in the uh, wall squad anymore he's only made one appearance with the club and that's in the EFL Cup now we're in the quarter final stages of the EFL Cup so I'm not sure whether Wolves uh, Wolf got knocked out or not but yet again it's one of them things I just think maybe his time is up and I think he could go somewhere else and make a big difference but anyway guys that's the end of this video one player from every Premier League club that I think a Premier League club should sell, should sell, plus better, in the next transfer window. Guys, leave your predictions down below. Who do you think the club should sell? But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.